Okay. I am an immigrant. I was born in South America. I was born in Peru. I lived there until I was three years old and came to America to live a better life. My senior project is about immigration, obviously, and I decided to focus on the internal question of why so much negativity behind the immigration. So, like I said, I moved here when I was three from Peru. My entire family came along with me. Um, when I first moved here, I moved to Pacifica, which is an area near San Francisco. I lived there until I was about five, and then we moved to Palo Alto area. My parents um, got better jobs. They started working for Comcast and Palo Alto Medical Foundation, so they were able to economically provide a little bit more for us. Um, I was aware, I was not aware of my family's secret for about 10 years. Um, when I turned 13, my parents decided to sit me down for about a conversation. And they said, you know what, we came here on visas, but our visas expired, we are undocumented, and we have no legal rights to stay in the country, but we want to make the best effort for us and our family so we can stay in the country. And they said, we're going to try and talk to a legal counselor about this and hopefully gain our citizenship. Um, so then it was a whole long process, and it took about three years, but finally after 10 years and a half of not knowing the secret and then two years of legal processes, we, our, my entire family got our citizenship in 2013. And yes, that's a picture of me in the airport, not wanting to leave Peru. So why immigration? Um, it has such a personal, deep connection to me that I felt like it was something that I should be more aware of and research more. I also wanted to raise awareness of the current immigration status that is happening for undocumented immigrants because not a lot of reforms are happening, but a lot of laws are trying to be uh, passed in Congress. And also, I just wanted to expose the negative stigma that comes behind the immigration system. I mean, a bunch of people that I've met have automatically judged me and said, oh, are you Mexican? Are you undocumented? And I've proved them wrong, and I want to keep proving everybody else wrong. The immigrants are not just legal Mexicans that cross the border. They're, just, they're people like us. They just don't have the correct benefits that other people get to legally have. So a bit of background behind immigration. Um, currently what is being ha uh, done for immigrants is that in 2015, there's a license reform that is coming out. It entitles undocumented immigrants to apply for a driving license. Um, it's not a work permit, it's not a social security number, it's just a driving license. But I believe that that's kind of the beginning of how an immigration reform starts overall and worldwide it should be a trend. Another thing that's happening right now is the deferred action. It's for students between the ages of 15 and 32 that are uh, studying in, in America, and it gives you a social security number, um, a work permit, an ID, and you can ultimately apply for a license, and you will not get deported. Um, that process is ha uh, has to be renewed every two years in order to be in the U.S. without being deported. Um, it mostly benefits students. It allows them to legally stay in America and also study. So that's something that's going on for students right now, and hopefully within uh, two to three years after the license reform is passed, it will be passed for um, older people too. And the last thing that's being done is the immigrants versus aliens case. Uh, what that is is that right now, between um, for the past four years, Obama's administration has been deporting undocumented immigrants back to their home countries because they are being tried as criminals, only because they don't have the um, correct citizenship and the correct green cards that other people are fortunate to have. So they find any excuse possible to get them in jail, maybe pull them over for driving without a license, put them in jail, and then deport them ultimately back to their home country. So there's, I wanted to research the negative controversy behind immigration. Um, and one of the biggest things I found was that some people believe that immigrants are making the country economically worse which later on I'll show that that is uh, untrue. Um, also another thing that's negative about this immigration system is that states are passing immigration laws that are banning immigrants from having the rights that other people with uh, citizenship or green cards have, such as in Alabama, um, immigrants are not allowed to have water or electricity if they do not provide the correct uh, citizenship papers that they need to. And the last thing that I figured was discrimination against undocumented immigrants in general. Um, like I said earlier, people discriminated against me because they thought I was Mexican and I'm not, but that's kind of the stigma that I want to erase. The whole, um, oh, you're colored, so you have to be Mexican. Oh, you speak Spanish, so you have to be from across the border. And that's not true. Um, I've met a bunch of wonderful people throughout this whole process that are colored and speak Spanish, and they're from all over the country, and um, it's just a stigma I want to erase. 
So here's a picture of the states that have the strictest immigration laws, um, Arizona being number one, and uh, South Carolina currently being the least strictest. But overall, these are just um, kind of the laws that have been passed against undocumented immigrants. This picture I found online, it's about um, an electricity and water company stating that if you do not have the right documentation, uh, undocumented immigrants cannot have access to water and electricity. And I found that this was an extreme form of discrimination that I obviously would not want to see this at all. So even though there's negativity, I wanted to see positivity from this immigration. Um, so I researched it online, and contrary to what some people believe, uh, immigration, even if immigrants come to the country, they are increasing the economy. They are taking the jobs that people do not want. They're McDonald's workers, they're trash can pickup, they work at gas stations. These, these jobs that people don't want to take and have documents, these immigrants are trying to take and have because all they want to do is just work and have a better life in America. Also, something else that is happening is that uh, Obama's administration and Congress both are finally working together to have a legal process where people can renew their visas every certain amount of years. It doesn't necessarily mean they're having a, a citizenship, but it is a pathway ultimately. So how, I wanted to see a solution of how I could probably erase all the negative stigma. I mean, I know just one person can't erase the entire stigma, but I tried with my hands on a project. Um, it ultimately, it ultimately, ultimately led me to researching different ways of erasing the stigma. So for my hands-on, I did a three-step project. I first decided to be aware and see the community of how it is and see how these immigrants live and how they interact with one each other. So there was a, a parade in San Francisco that celebrated the diversity among the immigration uh, careers. And so I went to that and I got to interact with all these amazing people and I felt like I could easily just be open with everybody else about my situation because it's not just I that was included in this, but it's just the entire community and I felt welcomed easily. For my second part, I decided to interview uh, my peers because I was so intrigued by how that community was so open that I decided to see how other people felt about immigration and how their personal experiences have been affected. And for my third uh, my third part, I decided to team up with my family's immigration lawyer as well as Siren, which is an immigration network, um, and create a website that will raise the awareness and uh, have people go on there and submit their contact information if they need help and that ultimately will raise awareness and get people more educated about this stigma that surrounds this whole controversy. So I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> I am an immigrant. I am 
graduated when I was a year and a half old. Uh, the year was 79. Born in 77. Josh Sean Parker. I am an immigrant from Toronto. Across the border. I've been here since I was three, so I've spent 14 years now. I'm an immigrant. I'm not the decision my mom and I made to move here for me. My name's Cammy uh, Shepherd. I'm from France. never thought that we would stay in America for very long, and we never thought we were going to go back to Scotland, but um, my parents ended up staying here for work reasons. I have definitely experienced the differences between the two different cultures. During my freshman year, when I first came here, it was kind of really different in school, and I didn't know anybody, so I was kind of scared. I changed coming from Korea to California. I have learned to face and deal with uh, linguistic barriers, culture, <coughs> culture, and racism. Different being from another culture and living in America? Not exactly because there are so many Indians, like in the California, there are so many Indians in Virginia. What result California then for you? Uh, well, I was really young when I lived in Brazil, so I don't really remember, but I think my family has made a great life. Oh, really? 